Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial number 42. So we're going to continue on with the second part of creating our new targeting system. So we'll open up Unity and Mono Development. And we left off, we had just added the name to our prefab. Now we notice it's the text or the mesh renderer. And we'll also want to note that the text mesh is what contains what's displayed and if we turn off the mesh renderer it no longer displays it so when we target it we'll want it to turn on the mesh renderer or enable it and then we're going to want to take the name of the mob and change its text to equal whatever that mob's name is so let's head over to mono development and I'm going to do this in select target. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is get the uh, child that is underneath the object we have targeted. So when we have this mob targeted, we want to be able to find the child that we're going to use for the name. So I've called my name. So I'm going to search through and look for name. So for that, let um, see, we're storing our target as selected target, and it's a transform. So what I'm going to do for select target is just simply create a new transform, which I'll just call name, and this is going to be the variable that holds the reference to our actual name game object that holds the mobs name in game and it's just going to be equal to selected target dot I uh, be find child I believe find child now it's going to want the name of the child so we called ours name then next I want to check to make sure that the name that like we actually found what we're looking for and we can do that just by checking to see if it's equal to null so if name equals equals null this means we did not find it I'm gonna throw out a debug error sorry be a log error and I'm just gonna say could not find uh, the name on and then I'm going to append it and then I want to attach the the game objects name that we've got targeted so I can just go selected target dot name and that isn't supposed to be there and then I'm just simply going to return now later on we can come back and if it can't actually find the this here, this child, we can just have it create it. But for now, I just want to check to make sure it's there. And that's exactly what we're doing. So if it doesn't find it, it's going to put out a red message saying that it could not find the name on the whatever object we have selected. And the return statement just gets us out. So it doesn't do any more after it hits this line. But what if it does find it? Then I want to go name dot get component. And the component I'm going to want to get, we'll typecast it like that. It'll be, I believe it's text mesh. Let me just check to make sure. Yes, the text mesh. And I'm just going to call the text property on it and I want it to be equal to uh, whatever we're going to call this mob so there's a couple ways we can do this we can have it set this is what's going to be displayed as the character or the mobs name we can have it take whatever our game object our parent game object is called so when we have our random uh, mob generator we can have that script actually set the name of the mob but since our mob script inherits from 
base character, our base character also has a name, a variable in it that we can get to. And right now I'm leaning towards using this variable since we have it. So in my mob class, I'll just go to Unity and quickly load up the mob class. In the start method, I'm just going to quickly name all my mobs the same. Uh, let's, yeah, we'll just say name equals uh, slug mob. And we'll go back to the targeting mob. So we're going to say the text is equal to selected target dot get component and the type will be mob dot and I believe we just called it name so that'll set his name then we'll also want to turn it on so it's going to be name dot get component and this here was the mesh renderer and we're going to enable and we're going to set this to true and let's take a look at that mesh render so it's right here and if we go to our scene I'm going to quickly disable all of these names now that are on them. So I'll just take the first one and I'll just turn it off and hit apply. And then I'll just turn them all off. So now when we start it up, make sure there's no errors. And then we start targeting through. There we go. Now let's go down to our deselect and before we set the target to be null let's go ahead and change this. So we'll make it false and whoops have to get a reference to it again. So I'm just going to say select a target dot get component. I'm sorry, we got to find the child first. Find child name. And then I'm going to try to get the component right away. Just let's do it all in one step. Get component. And that's the text, me or sorry, mesh renderer we'll want. And I'll set enabled to be equal to false. So we just did everything in one line. And we know that it exists because we got it up here. So if we clear no errors hit play and we target the first one slug mob target the second one target the third one and so on and if you notice over here as we go through I have the first mob name selected in the hierarchy and as I go through you can see it toggling on and off another thing we don't need to do is we don't need to cast or receive shadows on the name so I'm just going to update that as well And for a bit of efficiency's sake, we should actually move this line here where it's assigning the name into the mob. But I'll do that a little bit later when we re revisit the mob because there's no point in setting the mob's name over and over and over again every time we select it. If we have it when the mob is first created, set that name then, then we won't have to keep doing it. We just set it once is basically what I'm saying. So that's done. 
So next we'll want to have it tell the uh, vitals bar here for the mob exactly how big it's supposed to be. And this video is just over 10 minutes now, so we'll save that part for tomorrow. And that'll be, I guess, the third and final part of our first round at the new targeting system. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.